Well, there it is, the new hay feeder for the goats. So this is the, I don't know, maybe fifth one of these style of hay feeders that I've built most of the time out of pallets. This is the first one I've built out of actual lumber, I guess you could say. So we got used a few two by fours uh, for the legs and a few uh, one by fours for the, uh, the slats, I guess you call them, to hold the hay. Um, they made a two by four box and then that's just some scrap three quarter inch plywood that I had and of course that needs to drain it needs to you know have spots where water can get through so I um, spaced it out so none of this is treated um, I'm not going to use treated because uh, well a couple reasons number one um, I don't have it laying around and this was all just based on stuff that I had laying around which is normally how I build and number two the goats will nibble and chew on this sometimes and so i'd rather use just regular wood there is one piece of treated wood here on this side and on that side that i did use use nails on everything so it was just a bunch of nails that i had later on and so that was all free and then i just used some duck screws that i had um, in the shop for the uh keeping the plywood attached so obviously the goats are going to stand up on this they'll sometimes climb in this whole thing and so I want to make sure that those don't pull off and that's why I didn't nail the the bottom parts there so but it's a it's a pretty sturdy beefy little uh, little deal lots of different ways to do the end pieces here I just used the scraps that I had to to connect the uh, the sides um, you could do it lots of different ways. Sometimes I've just taken like a, a one by four and kind of woven it through here because these are offset. You've got a two by four here and then the other two by four is, is over a little bit. So you can actually stick a, a one by four on the side of this right here and then all the way through to the outside of, of that one. So kind of weave it uh, on the sides. I've done that also. This, is, this will work for horses also. For horses, you really don't need the bottom part. Um, and you could make it a little taller. I made this one very wide, so it's on a 45 degree angle at the X, and that gives it a really nice base, so it won't tip over, and I don't need any additional legs or anything like that, uh, because again, the goats bump into this thing, they'll rub against it, they'll hit it with their heads, they'll do all kinds of stuff to try to knock this thing over, and because it's pretty heavy, and you know, it has a good stance like that, it should stay, <laughs> it, should, it should stay upright. So I'm not going to stain anything or paint anything. It's time now to just get it out into the pasture and see how the goats like it. Well, I'd say it's a it's a success. <laughs> they like it and they're using it. So, uh, the idea with goats, if if you're uh, maybe you have another type of animal um, and don't know, but goats are, are very messy. And then once they get the hay on the ground, they generally just leave it, and they they're real picky with it. So, the idea with the tray is that it will catch a lot of the chaff that will fall off as they're picking at it, 
and then hopefully they'll still eat it because it's in the tray and not on the ground. So hopefully just uh, make it a little more efficient and allow them to, uh, to eat up more of the hay instead of wasting it. So just a few of the dimensions that you want to uh, be aware of. So these two by fours right here, the legs are 48 inches. So it took one two by four to make each X on each side to make this the stand. Um, these in here, the, these pieces are 24 inches. So the tray is 24 inches uh, plus the, uh, I guess the length of the two by four on the outside of it. So it makes the tray a little bigger, but that, uh, that's 24 inches. The length of it um, in between here. So all those, all those slats that I put in were 40 inches. And 40 inches is a pretty good uh, space. You saw as I threw that bale of hay in there, some bales of hay are gonna push 40 inches. Some of them are gonna be about 36 inches. And so you can fit just about any size bale in there. Uh, and, and you can actually fit about a bale and a half in this particular one. Uh, I, I kind of put one in there, you know, just as is, and then I stuffed some around it. And so you can get quite a bit of hay in there. This will last, I mean, this, these four goats, of course the babies don't eat as much, but this will last them uh, about two weeks with this much hay in here. Um, they'll, they'll nibble on it and chow down on it, but it'll last them quite some time. And even if it does rain, the rain will kind of pass through it and it doesn't wreck the hay, it doesn't get all nasty. And so um, you don't really need to have a cover on them, I've found, that's just my opinion, but uh, some people do put little roofs on them and stuff, but uh, it's not, not necessary. So hopefully that helps you guys out. This is, uh, like I said, I've done several of these. I've actually done, uh, I think, two or three other videos on hay feeders, uh, pallet hay feeders, a couple different varieties, uh, building them just right from two pallets, usually two or three pallets, depending on how you, uh, how you build it. Um, and so I will put a link to a couple of those other videos that I've done on hay feeders, and you can kind of check them all out and make your own. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, uh, throw them down below in the comments. I try to answer those. Even if this video is five years old, I still, I still see your comments, and I try to get back to everybody, um, unless I've already answered the question in the video. Uh, then I'll just tell you to watch the video again. But other than that, don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. Uh, and of course, if this is your first time here to the Self Family Dad channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and tag along. Hit the subscribe button as well as the bell, and you'll get notified when we post new content. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.